Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Huh. Now there's a rare sight. Whoa, that's huge! What is that? The Guardian Worm, Evre. The Great Sacred Beast, Protector of Bavel. <laughs> the red carpet has teeth. Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me! We're gonna fight that thing! Get on deck and show him what you got! Go! There he goes again. The ferryman asks a high price. Yeah, I have to agree. The ferryman does ask a high price. Open the hatch. We fight. Evre is truly mighty. Be well prepared. So, we got weapons and armors, but I don't need we any. We gotta pay? If we lose, you'll die too, buddy. I have faith in your victory. Gee, thanks. Waka took the reaction I had. So, let's go up on deck and fight Evre. Make sure you're well leveled and prepared for this, ladies and gentlemen, because Evre can wreck your shit. This is one of the few bosses in the game that always gives me trouble. time against Evre, the guardian worm of Bavel, and the only worm that you're actually going to fight in this game. So we can move in or pull back. This will occur on Sid's turn and only Riku or Titus can give the commands to go forward or pull back. Obviously what will end up happening is that if you pull back, you can only attack with ranged attacks or magic. Problem is, Evre takes half damage to every element which is annoying, but Evre is vulnerable to slow as well as vulnerable to darkness. So you can use that to your advantage. So let us try armor break to see if perhaps we can lower its defense. And it's immune, typical. So let us try just hitting it. I could kill it with attack reels because Evre has about, oh, 26,000. This is where it gets very dicey. Every knows stone gaze. Make sure you have stone ward or stone proof armor already. Go back! Farther away! Just a minute! Now I will say I play Evre very safely because I am prone to getting a game over on this boss because of its ultimate attack, Poison Breath. Poison Breath damages you for a boatload, usually close to 2,000 damage, and at the same time, it also causes poison on you, which does a percentage based on how much health you have left. So, haste on Waka. Let's get Kimari out, so then we can show off Evre's health. So, and just to show off also that, you know, black magic. We can use scan, but as you can see, it has 32,000 hit points. When you end up getting Evre to half health, what will end up happening is he will cast haste on himself. You can dispel that by just casting slow or slow ga on Evre again. When you're far away, you can end up, Evre will end up doing one of two moves. He'll do photon spray in which he charges and shoots a bunch of energy balls at you, or he'll end up doing swooping sight. 
in which he'll get close to you and damage the entire party. Now, Swooping Scythe is something he won't do in this battle. Neither will he do Poison Breath, because I play this a little bit safely. And it's rather interesting that I do. This is it. I'm hitting it with all we got. Okay, so let's use Guided Missiles. This is Sid's attack. Well, this destroyed home and does absolutely jack shit to Everett. Oh, no, tell a lie. That did probably about two or three things. But let us heal up Waka because we're going to use attack reels to end this boss because after a while I get a little bit bored. So let us heal Waka again. Pretty much haste is your friend inside this boss fight. So keep that in mind. Let's cast slow, which is worked on Evre, which is good. Let us use... Let's let's use Riku and try and do a mix, perhaps, since, you know, we can do a bunch of different things. So, we can use uh, Grenade, maybe, but let's try mixing. And this is where, this has never happened to me before. We're going to mix a failure, because I mixed two grenades last time, and I got Tidal Torrent, but this time... I got jack shit, so as a result, I didn't waste my overdrive meter, so never happened before to me. But let's cast haste on Riku. Here comes photon spray again. Pretty much after this would be when Evre would go after you and do. Uh, what was it called? Would do swooping sight, but since I'm moving in. We're not going to get Swooping Scythe. Now, the one thing you, again, need to watch out for besides Stone Gaze is that Poison Breath. Poison Breath is pretty nasty. So, let us do Slice and Dice. This should bring Evre down to half of his health. If I can hit the thing correctly. So, we're doing about a 1,000 damage apiece. A little bit 900, but that's pretty good. That... Got every down enough. Let's mix this time. A grenade and a power sphere to get Blaster Mine, which causes darkness. Which reminded me, hey, that's right, every can get hit by darkness. But here comes the haste. So every is now able to attack a lot more often. But, what we're going to do is, we're going to just finish off Evre. So, we can pull back. Let us try and cast slow on Evre. Missed. So, instead, attack reels time. Because why would you do any other attack with Waka besides the attack reels? And if this does a thousand apiece, then Evre is going to get overkilled. And it does. Every Technically, I could have ended this boss fight even earlier. But, there we go. That takes care of Evray. That's probably the safest I've ever done that boss fight. So, I'm rather impressed with myself. As everyone just stands and watches as it dies. And you get quite a bit of AP from that, and two black magic spheres for overkilling. Now for my favorite scene in this game. Well, set of scenes, I should say.
This is one way to crash a wedding, that's for sure. All right. So, why don't we get up to Yuna? Yuna! But before we do that, let's do a little bit of sphere grid messing with. So, yes, this is one way to crash a wedding, that is quite certain. Um, probably everyone's freaking out at the fact that there was a flying ship there, because flying ships aren't common in Spira. Not at all. All right, so let us move Orin so he can get some more HP. You know, it's very polite of the guards of Bavel to just stand there as I power myself up. Just so nice. All right, so let us... Use a Mega Potion, just might as well. And let's change our formation, putting Orin into the party. So, let's go. Pretty much, we're going to be fighting Bavel Guards one right after another. There's normal Bavel Guards, and then there's the Flame Guards. The Flame Guards are the ones in red. They use a flamethrower that is fairly annoying. But they go down pretty easily. And we are murdering people right now. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much murdering people right now. Not even, not even batting an eye on that. But, we also have mechs. Stay right there, Seymour. Oh, don't worry, I don't think he's going anywhere. Now, this mech right here, use Lancet on it because we can learn a new overdrive. We can learn the Thrust Kick. Now, Thrust Kick, when used by one of those mechs, as we're about to see, is annoying, because what it does, launches them out of the battle. You can get triple thrust kicked, and then that will count as a game over. I'm not joking, that is stupid. Okay, I'm not liking where this is going. So guess what? Two can do it this game. Thrust, kick. You were supposed to go flying. Ow. Ow. Okay, there we go. Now I can get Kamari out of the battlefield because he has learned the special that we need to learn. Oh boy. Yeah, my Kamari is not that strong. I don't use Kamari too much. All right, change my formation back. Get Waka back in here. And continue moving forward. Yes, don't give me mechs. Give me just people. Squishy, fleshy people who die in one hit. I am overpowered. Poor Orin, he hasn't even had a chance to attack yet. Poor Orin. All right, let's keep going. I love the music that's playing in the background too. The song is called Assault, and it's one of my personal favorite tracks in Final Fantasy X. All right, let's get rid of the flame guards first. Then we'll use shooting star on the mech who decided to use thrust kick and Titus is dead because we're really high up. So guess what? You go away. I love doing shooting star. It's so great when you launch enemies out of the battle. And we got quite a bit of XP from that one. So, let's keep going up. This should be the last of the battles right here. Well, we have to battle the second type of mech. Now, these mechs have high magic defense, but not too high. So, keep that in mind. They don't have a weakness per se to magic, but... No way, no, tell a lie, they do. They are weak to fire and water. But... Hitting them with your swords and your balls and everything also, you know, kills them pretty fast. But that should be the last one. Yep, I'm correct. This has gone far enough. Why are we afraid of guns now? <clears throat> Stop. Why are we suddenly afraid of guns? We can take them. 
We get shot at all the time. You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. <laughs> Stop! Do you not value your friends' lives? Your actions determine their fate. Protect them, or throw them away. The choice is yours. You know those people who are clapping in the back, we're just paid to clap. Killed them. <gasps> and totally saw this coming. I am sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are exceptions. No! Throw down your weapons. Let them go, or else. Leave now, please. You're coming with us! Don't worry, go! This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> Don't worry. I can fly. Believe.
was that? An all bed flash bomb. Let me go. I'm gonna kill that Seymour. Again. Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Break through. Ah. Ah. Where'd Muni go? The Bell Palace is temple. Yuna goes to one place only. The Chamber of the Faith! Alright, that sounds like a good place to meet up. Which means another cloister of trials to do. Goody! It's too quiet. A trap? Probably. Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us! Huh? What's a machina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I mean! The teachings! What about the teachings? Hey, don't look at me. Waka's about to go for a big shock. Machina inside of a temple! And I mean... We saw Mr. Keenhawk pointing guns at us, and they had mechs, which were against the teachings. Another Machina? Man. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. <sighs> they treated us like dirt. And surprise, surprise, wait. If this is a temple, how did people not question the fact that there was Machina inside it in the first place if this is a temple? But we're actually coming up to something right now, and that is a missable Albed Primer. The entrance to the trials. I wonder if Uni's really in there. Let's go and see. Let's go. All right, but first things first, grab this Albed Primer that's right next to us. Which is the last missable one in the game. That is entirely missable. But anyway, guys, going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time is Cloister Time.